All right, hello Lincoln City, hi Facebook, happy Sunday. Welcome to our very first Sunday sweat. Today we are going to feature the toilet paper workout. So you will need four rolls of toilet paper per person and a little bit of humor and enthusiasm. We're going to go about 30 minutes today and it's going to be a combination of cardio, strength, mostly body weight type exercises. Remember that you can adjust the movements. You can go from high impact to low impact or vice versa, whatever's feeling good today. And please listen to your body, follow your doctor's orders as we would in any normal workout situation. So if you're on, just give me a thumbs up or a heart so I can see you. Hi, Christy. Thanks for joining me. So we miss you guys at the center. We hope to see you again soon so we can do some of these live workouts in person. But in the meantime, we'll make do with what we've got. And we'll just wait another moment to allow anybody else to pop on who wants to pop on. This workout will be archived on our Facebook page and it will also be uploaded onto YouTube afterwards. So if you do miss out or you're busy right now, you want to do the workout, you can catch up with it just a little bit later. And if you haven't checked out our YouTube channel, we have a lot of different types of formats building in our, in our YouTube account. You can go in, access those workouts anytime. We've got done gentle yoga, chair yoga, several strength and balance with Lori. We've done Tai Chi, cardio circuit. Our Sunday sweat is something a little bit different. And we have some different formats coming your way. So if there is a certain format you'd like a little bit more uh, variety, let us know what that format is and we'll do our best to accommodate and mix it up a little bit, at least over these next couple of weeks. So with that, we will get started here. So grab your toilet paper, head over to an open space, and I'll turn on our music here and we'll get started. All right, TP ready. This stuff's like gold right now. All right, right now you can set the other three aside. You only need one roll as we just get warmed up. So just start off in an easy march. Think about your posture, getting nice and tall. You can roll your shoulders back a few times. Toilet paper in hand. Four, three, two, now lift your knees a little higher, tap your toilet paper to your knee. Starting narrow. Good. Four more. Three, two, open up a little bit wider, rotate. about lifting your knee toward the toilet paper instead of toilet paper toward your knee. Always moving within a comfortable range of motion. Almost there. Four more sets. Four. Three. Two. Now move to a leg curl. 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 With your toilet paper in hand, wood chop. Up to your shoulder, down towards your hips. Warming up our elbows, a little bicep mobility. Make sure your kneecaps are pointing straight down at the floor. Starting to warm up just a little bit more. It was a little chilly this morning out there. Four, three, two, now let's make it a double. Double curl. Double curl. Arms and leg. Four more. Three. Two. Head back to a march. Let's work our rotator cuff a little bit. Warm up our shoulders. Passing the toilet paper side. 
side to side. Out, center. Out, center. Our arms are at 90 degrees. Should feel a little shoulder squeeze. A little mobility for our rotator cuff. Let's add on to this with an opposite side stretch, a side lunge. So as your arm opens out to the right, lunge to the left. You can make this a little bit deeper squat if you like. Just listen to your knees and hips. Four more. Three. Two. Okay, marching out. Tap your toilet paper from one hip to the other. You can go small and quick, little spinal rotation. Feel your oblique starting to fire. Exhaling with every turn. Starting off big or small and quick. Now let's go big and slow, go forward. Reach all the way around and tap. A little bit bigger range of motion. Good. Let's go back to quick and small. Think about turning from your waist, keeping your pelvis forward. Four, three, two, big and slow. Reach around. Out around the knee. Out around the knee. Okay, let's get a little more active. We're going to start off with a halo, and what that means, our toilet paper goes around our head. Kind of like when we pass a basketball around our head. Let's keep doing that, but we're going to sidestep two times to our right. So it's two side steps with a halo of toilet paper. Go the other way. To the right again, two times. To our left. You're reversing the direction of your pass. Do it again. Let's add on four squats. Three, two, two halo right. Four squats. Two halo left. Four squats, toss the toilet paper and catch it. Hand eye coordination. And then halo. Avoid leaning forward, 
And you want to make sure that your knee stays behind your toes. Let's reverse the direction of our pass. Have to get the 
timing right. All right, round two, two claps. Whoop, gotta work on that. Remember to watch your toilet paper. Get the timing down, this is all about reaction time. Now if you're doing really well, try three. What is it? <laughs> That's harder. Woo! Can anybody do four? Let's try it a couple times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I gotta get a little bit lower to make that catch. That's not such a bad thing. One more time. Oh, I only got three that time. That's okay. Something to work on. Your timing, your coordination. So let's stand on one leg and we put our toilet paper back so we have our semicircle again. Standing on our right leg, let's hinge forward. Your left toe can tap the floor or you can completely hinge at your hips. Reach down and touch the toilet paper. Whoa, that's hard to do. So turn on your core, hinge and reach. Come in, hinge and reach. You can space the toilet paper as far away as you want, kind of measure it out. Let's go back the other way. If it's easy for you, you can push it back a little bit, make that reach a little more challenging. All right, so reset, let's try our other leg. Left leg, you can keep your toe tapped behind if you need to, or lift up. You can soften your standing knee, but keep your weight on your single leg. A little bit harder on this leg. We usually have one side that's a little better at everything. And a little bit of a shake out. Grabbing our toilet paper, let's grab two of those rolls. Standing on our right leg, you can hold your foot out in front. Maybe you want to do a tree pose, kick stamp, or you can bring your heel up and back. And while we do this, let's just do some arm circles. A little shoulder mobility. Right now I'm going symmetrical. If you want to go reciprocal, get one arm going and then the other. And that's going to mess with your core a little bit. You should have strong abdominals. See if you can lengthen just a little bit taller. Feels like we're juggling plates here. Three, two, see so if you can go a little vigorous. Create a little bit of turbulence with your extremities. Four, three, two. Okay, a little bit of a break. Our other leg gets a turn. Stepping down, choose your position for your one leg balance. And this time, circling back. You can go big and slow. If mobility is your focus, you can go a little bit smaller and quicker. Or reciprocal. That's going to cause your torso to want to twist a little bit. That means we really have to stabilize and square our torso to the front against all this external turbulence. Three, two, and a little release. Good, roll your shoulders back. And we're going to take all four rolls, stack them up vertically, and move them over to the edge of your workspace. I think that's right on the edge of the street. And we'll start off on the other side of our workspace. So I'm trying to stay in the frame for you. This is either a side step or a shuffle. So you can either side step, a little lower impact, or you can shuffle side to side. So just kind of practice that, see how that feels. And we have a mission here. We're going to move the toilet paper from this side over to this side. So here we go. Squat down if you can, side step or shuffle. Grab the teepee, shuffle, move it over here. Stack up your stash. See how quick you can do this. All right, once you get there, go put it back. A little bit quicker, maybe. You can challenge yourself, get what you need, whether you need to go faster or slower than me. And we're going to do it again. You can get a little bit lower. Fire through your quads. Shuffle, shuffle. For excellent toilet paper stack. 
backwards. Final time. Move it across, put it down. There we go. And a little bit of a rest. We did it. Toilet paper has been moved. Now, move our rolls to the center. And you get to decide here, we're creating a barrier to jump over. So maybe you want to do a single roll where you can line them up flat. You can make your wall two TPs high. You could go three TPs high. Or if you really need to burn off some energy, four TPs high. I'm going to go mid-range to demonstrate. And I'm going to build a wall of two high. That way you have some options. So I'm going to scoot it back so you can see me a little bit better. And this is either a step over or a jump over. So if you want to go low impact, step over and step back over. So make sure you lift your knees. You want to clear the obstacle. If it's easy, remember you can stack another roll of TP on there. Good. Higher impact, higher intensity version is where you squat down, jump up and over, clear the TP. That is a lot more intense, but if you're feeling it here on this Sunday, or you can do a little bit of an in-between, hop over with a little spring in your step, but a softer landing. Because remember, your landing is just as important as the takeoff. Good. Four. Three. Two. And release. Okay, a little intermission on the cardio. Grab one roll of toilet paper, and you'll want to use a chair, maybe a couch, or something with a little bit of height, about the same, for this one. So you'll stand on one side. I'm standing on the right side of my chair, and I'm going to do a pivot, diagonal reach, and then squat down, tap my toilet paper to the chair, and lift. It's like a wood chop. Lift up, squat down. Lift up, squat. If you have an object that's a little bit lower and you want to make it a target, like maybe stack up two or three TPs, and you could go down and increase the range of motion, increase the squat. So when you come up, pivot on your trailing foot. Your whole body rotates as a unit. Make sure your breathing is steady. Mine's increased, I'm a little warmer. Couple more this side. All right, let's go to the other side of our teepee or the other side of our chair. Get in position, soft knees, here we go. Rise up, chop down. Pivot, unload your knee, hip and ankle as you reach to the corner. Getting both sides. Ankle mobility, hip mobility to our obliques. Some shoulder range of motion. Last few here. Okay, a little bit of a break. We'll go back into another cardio move. We just have four moves left. You're so close. Let's put our toilet paper stacked up, four tall, as we did before. And this is another exercise where we're going to physically move the toilet paper from here to there. Turn and face your toilet paper, and you can either squat down, come up, step around, put it down, or you can do the more high impact version. Squat down, jump, half turn, put it down. Good. Once you've done the four, do it again. Hop and turn, hop and turn. Or step around, step around. Good. I like to show a little bit of both. Both are equally valid exercises. This is our last time we're doing the toilet paper. And jump on the last one. There we go. 
Toilet paper has been moved. Now we'll grab one again for a little more spinal mobility. You can come to a wide stance. Figure eight. Kind of a wind down post cardio mobility exercise here. Think about your breathing, nice deep breaths through your mouth. We're going mobile spine, nice big and slow. Let's do stable spine. Solid core, small and quick. Churn, 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 churn. Four, three, two. All right, figure it. Little break. So I want you to tighten your core, compress your abdominals. Nice and solid and small and quick. Churn, 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 create a little turbulence. Four, three, two, and a little release. Great. Last exercise is a little coordination. We're holding one arm out in front. Our other arm is going to toss the toilet paper around and catch it. Around and catch it. This took a little practice when I first started doing it. Woo! Easier said than done. Remember to always keep your eyes on the toilet roll. Good. Let's try it on the other side. Maybe one side's a little better than the other. Go round over, catch it. This is when you can practice. You gotta throw it just the right amount. Beautiful. Heart rate's coming down a little bit. Last time for good measure. Excellent. So we're going to wind down a little bit with a stretch. Our toilet paper is well broken in. Let's start with our calves. Step back with one leg, pressing our heel to the floor. Feel a little bit of a calf stretch. And then we can also stretch through our side by just bending at our waist, reaching down like you're picking up your bag of groceries left to right. Just move through a comfortable range of motion. Whatever's feeling good for you. Might feel a little stretch in your hip and your outer thigh, inner thigh. Let's do the other side. Heel down and back, side to side reach. You can walk your pelvis here if it feels good.
that's uncomfortable for you or too much stretch, just do a heel to shin bone slide and you can get an active range of motion without forcing your foot onto your knee. All right, either way, let's switch sides. Heel to shin bone, gentle mobility, or ankle to your knee. Lift up tall, hinge forward. Oh, there's the stretch. Keep a nice lifted, open chest here. Posture matters even when we stretch. Easing up, let's roll our shoulders back. With our shoulders rolling back and down, lifting an ear away from one shoulder. Gentle stretch here. Feel the stretch between shoulder and ear. Other side. And with our head center, we'll take a nice deep breath in, reaching up. Exhaling down, do it again, lifting up. Our hands come through the center to our heart, and namaste. Thank you for joining me for this toilet paper workout. I hope it has left you feeling wiped out. Get it? <laughs> all right. So that's a great way to use all that extra toilet paper if you've got it lying around the house. Hopefully we got our heart rate up. So remember, check out our Facebook and YouTube channel. We've got videos posting three to four times a week, as long as we're closed and we can see you all in person again. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. We'll see you soon, Lincoln City. <laughs> thanks for joining me, Sandra. Thanks, thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Diane. We'll see you next time. <laughs>